It's also brought to you by Pump Magazine, Music Plus Style, In Your Face. Tell us how it all started for you. Uh, you said you've been playing for like 10 years already. Yeah. In college, because I got into the whole band thing when uh, preppy preppy pa ako nun eh. We went to this, um, disco yun sa Makati. Nakalimutan ko na. Mm -hmm. And exacto, Color Thread was playing. Okay. Na hook talaga ako. I would follow them everywhere. Mayrix. And then, kung saan-saan sila tumutugtog, nandun ako. Siyempre, I was always too shy to approach them. Color Thread. Right. Nanon oh, nanonood lang ako. It wasn't just because of, of course, Kuki Chua. No, no, no. It, it was, was it was the band. Talaga. It was the music. Okay. Yung energy nila sa ko. Ay pwede pala to. Because before that, I was really uh, into bands like Side A and Art Start. Pop talaga. Mm -hmm. So rock indie. And and those and those bands were dominating the scene at that right. time. Right, the early '90s or late '80s actually. Mm -hmm. No high school ako. So do the math. Ha? I don't know how And I discovered Color Thread, and then. For some weird reason, I found myself in a Yano concert. Oh, don't. Tapos, okay. grabe, blow na away ako. And then, mamaya, ayan, nasundan na yung, uh... E-heads later on pa, eh. Uh -huh, later yeah. on pa yung E-heads. Um, narinig ko yung first album nila, masa, it's cool. But call it red pa rin. Mm -hmm. And then, River Maya also. And then, I started playing. That was the time I was in, uh, UP Diliman already. Okay. Taking up some stupid course. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, you have to With tell us. So smart teachers. What was your major I'm there? Uh, I majored in creative writing. Okay. Had lots of good teachers actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Mara Lanot and. <laughs> and, a couple, and a couple of more. Yeah, matanda na kasi ako, sorry. It's not that there are a few good teachers lang. Mar marami rin naman. But you took up creative writing. This was something, this was a course you really chose? Uh, I, I think I wanted to take up, ano, journalism, but hindi umabot yung GPA ko. So I had to settle for creative writing. Uh -huh. And then eventually shift to MassCom na lang. Okay. But yeah, I was... I wasn't really a, you know, class A student back in college. <laughs> so, there. And then I started playing. I formed my own band. Lots of them. Um, in the mid-90s. I started playing 1995. My first band was in 1995 with two good friends. Called, uh, and the band was called, ano, Geek and the Girls. Geek and the Girls. Yeah. And... From UP also, your friends? UP also, UP also. So, I guess you know which one I was. <laughs> <laughs> and then I formed my, uh, a lot of bands. And then with I, I had this band called Jinx. And we were fronting for Session Road a lot. Okay. Because I was a big fan. Still am a big fan of uh, Session Road. And then... Nung last gig na ng college band ko, kami ni Chavi decided to form Sugar Free. Okay. And then Jal, who just happened to be passing by very rudely, <laughs> goes parang, can I join? Okay. Ah, no, no, hindi niya sinabing can I join. He goes parang, okay, I'm in. Sabi <laughs> ko, what? Nobody invited you, but okay, we don't have a bass player. All right. And it turns out that Jal and I are the only um, remaining original members of the band. Okay, when did Mitch come in? He, he came in a year later because that was the time naman na when Sugar Free was playing with, with the Barcada bands so with Itch Worms uh -huh. and Bold Star and Ciudad. So Mitch, Mitch plays for Ciudad kasi. That's when we met him. The drummer, our drummer then didn't show up. So we jam namin siya and parang na enjoy namin and then before you know it, I was just the three of us now. You know, um, uh, Sugar Free is like a three piece, uh, yeah. but it's a very one of the tightest bands I have ever seen perform. Hey, thanks. You, you, you guys uh, can do a lot on stage that uh, bands with six members <laughs> uh, yeah. can't hold a candle to. You know, so um, uh, uh, how is that? I mean, what are the principles of being in a it's, three piece band and uh, be able to be so cohesive on stage? It's I think. Most of it is uh, mainly adjusting to each other's needs. Because look at it this way, when you play in a band, there are ano, some pa kayo sa stage, there are many holes. Mm -hmm. 
yung mga butas na yun, tatakpan mo to sound good on stage, to sound tight on stage, right? So it has also to do with equipment. And noong una talaga masipag kami mag-practice. So kung ano yung, yung kulang na frequencies ng gitara, uh-huh. dinadaan sa cymbals, and so on, so forth. I think Jal would, would be the best guy to explain this. Eh. Kasi siya yung, siya yung nagsabi sa amin, this is what we need to do. Mitch, try this, Ebe, try that, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos dumating na sa point na sobrang natural na lang talaga sa amin na tatlo lang kami. So th- th- these are things that I've seen other bands with more members miss out on. And it's the first time I've heard you explain that. And it's very enlightening to know... And I get to take home so much more money because there's only three more. <laughs> Sorry, I'm no, kidding. Well, that's just one of the more pragmatic reasons <laughs> to get into a three-piece band. The um, the money is better. No, but ano kasi, the thing kasi with my bandmates that I'm very, very proud of is ano, we love challenges mm-hmm. talaga. Instead of like whining and ano, we always always try to do something about it to make the situation a little better because that's what the world is about right? all right there you go try yes to live a, a, a good life adjusting and even learning from uh, ebba dancel on tonight's episode of other people's music lead vocalist for sugar free and we've got uh, more music coming in what's the next song we're going to listen to ebba uh i'll choose mona can we go to the questions first i'll choose mona